Welcome back. In this video, we are going to understand what is AWS Lambda service. With the help of AWS Lambda service, we can run our code without provisioning or managing the infrastructure. We can simply write and upload code as a zip file or a container image and our code is going to work. AWS Lambda, it's like an editor, like we have the different editor in the market, PyCharm, Atom, Visual Studio, IntelliJ. These editors help us to write our code. The same way AWS Lambda also help us to write our code. AWS Lambda also provide us with extra features like it support multiple languages, Python, Go, Java, Node. For the other editors, we need the base operating system. The same way for the AWS Lambda, we also need a base operating system. But that base operating system, we are not managing. That is something managed by the AWS. And that is the reason AWS Lambda is called the serverless service because we are not managing the underlying hardware or the underlying operating system where we are running our code. Now let's understand the requirement for the AWS Lambda. So we have four requirements for the AWS Lambda. The first one is the handler, the second one is the runtime environment, third one is the trigger and the fourth one is the permission. So let's discuss all the four requirements step by step. So the first one is the handler. If you have already worked with different languages, then you know what is the handler. Lambda start executing the code from the handler. Whenever we are going to write our code, we need to write our code from the handler. So handler is the first point from where we are going to write our code. Then we have the runtime environment. In the runtime environment, we need to tell Lambda which language we are going to work with. So let's suppose I want to write my code in the Python. So the runtime environment for me is Python. I can select the different languages from there like Python, Java, Node. The third one is the trigger. So trigger in the sense when I want to execute my code. So we have couple of options like the first option which we have that is the manual trigger. And the next option we have that is something we can automate with the help of the cron job, with the help of the scheduler. Let's suppose I want to run my lambda code at a particular time i can do that i can do that with the help of the cron job or i can also run my lambda code in case event so let's suppose if i'm going to upload a file in my s3 bucket and i want my lambda to be triggered at that moment i can also do that so that is the trigger in the trigger we need to tell when we want our lambda code to execute and the permission so permission is something which i need to provide to the lambda Whenever I'm creating a function in the Lambda, it will create with the basic execution permission. But let's suppose from the Lambda, I'm trying to create one of the EC2 machine. I need to provide that permission to the Lambda. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Let's do one demo to understand the AWS Lambda service. Here, I'm in my AWS console. And from here, what I need to do is in the search bar, I need to type the Lambda. Now this lambda I need to click and I will land to this page where it is going to show me AWS lambda. Here we have a lot of things like we have the dashboard application function. So I'm going to cover all those things step by step. But for this video, let's do a demo to get information of all the instances which are running in my account. And for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Python Boto 3 script. So the first thing which we need to do is we need to create a function and how to create a function we can click here or here. Here we have a couple of options like we can create the function from the scratch, we can use a blueprint, we can go with the container image, we can browse serverless app repository as well. Let me go from the scratch and let me create a function. So here let me give a name to my function and my function name ec2 detail. Here we need to select the runtime. Here we have the different languages with their version. What I need to do is I need to select one of the version from here. So I'm going to select Python 3.9. From here we need to select the architecture and after that we have the permission. If I'm going to click here, here the Lambda is going to create with the basic Lambda permission. So let me go with the same role right now and later on we are going to edit it let me go and create function now once i am going to click on this create function it is going to create a function for me now here i'm going to write my function this is the editor where i'm going to write my function now here it says import json so the first thing which i need to do is i need to import boto3 because from the boto3 i'm going to call all the ec2 instance which are running in my account and this is the handler and after the handler i need to write my code so let's suppose if I go with this code, which says hello from Lambda, let me test this code. Let me give a test name here. Let me save this thing. Let me deploy it. Now let me go and test this thing. Now here I will get, okay, no module name Boto. So I need to correct this thing. 
import border 3 let me comment this thing let me deploy it test it hello from lambda so that means i'm able to execute my code but my code is executing from this point correct now the same way i'm going to write my own code and the code which i'm going to write is to get all the details of the ec2 instance which are running in my account so let me delete this thing and from here i'm going to write my code so let me copy this thing and let me paste it here now the first thing is here I'm going to use the EC2 as a variable and from here I'm going to connect with the resource. Here I'm going to provide with the service name and the service name is the EC2 and the region name is US East 1. Here I'm not providing any of the credentials. Why I'm not going to provide any of the credentials? Because it is going to work with the role. The role which it has created at the time of creation. So I'm going to use the same role in order to execute my function. Now the next thing is for each in ec2 instances dot all so this is one of the function which is there in the border 3 so let me go to the border 3 and let me show it to you from where exactly it is border 3 here is the ec2 and here is my resource and from this resource i am calling this function instances all let me copy this thing let me search it here and we will get it so here we have what it is going to do is it is going to print all the instances which are running in my account now let me save this thing and when we need to save our function what we are going to do is we are going to click on the deploy and let me test this thing now here it says an error occurred unauthorized operation when calling the describe instances you are not authorized to perform this operation so that means i don't have access to run this function correct so what i need to do is i need to go to the configuration and in the configuration we have the permission where we have the role assigned so let me click on this role now it is going to redirect me to the im page and here we have our role this is the role and if i'm going to check the policy which is assigned to my role this is with the basic execution right now correct so what i'm going to do is i will go and i'm going to add permission i'm going to create one inline policy or i can attach a policy so let me go and attach a policy and for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach the policy which is providing me full ec2 access attach policy we are done we have attached this policy now let me go back to my lambda and let me go back to my code and let me test it one more time now here i'm getting information related to all the instances which are running in my account so this is how the lambda function works